Well, it's Steve White, Trek Boy 89 for Steve Outs 89. Well, I did a 15 minute review for the first episode of Picard, then I did a 10 minute episode review because I thought I could do better, then I did a 5 minute spoiler review because I just wanted to talk to a couple of the Star Trek um, fans who are saying they're not going to watch it and give them one last chance without spoiling anything so they can still watch it. But then I found myself still wanting to talk about a couple of elements of the show, and this is why I do YouTube because I like to talk about stuff. Um, so Seven's character, I want to talk about Seven's character for a minute. I'm really troubled by Seven's character on many levels. First issue was I felt they ruined the character because they basically um, made her into a murderer, a um, cold-blooded murderer when she was in the Rangers. And I thought, how do they then, you know, accept her into the Federation when she's committed crimes? Now, I guess you could be technical and say, well, none of those crimes were done in the Federation, so they have no... Um, jurisdiction so she can't really be held accountable so she does get to just get away with that stuff and go back into Starfleet that I guess is what happened but is that a stigma that's with her now um, you know do people know what she did or just just being a member of the Rangers is that just reputation enough now she seems to be being discriminated against by her captain um, who is a jerk and we knew he was a jerk we sort of knew he was gonna be the you know the character we love to hate blah blah I'm sure he'll redeem himself by the end of the series he'll be fighting on the same side as everyone else and you know all those little issues won't matter um, but he does seem to discriminate against um, Seven of Nine he prefers her to use her human name instead of Seven now when I first heard about you know Seven's dead naming uh, which is a trans term um, I, I understand she is an alleg all all allegory for um, a trans experience I get that but um, to say that her using her own name is dead naming was a bit much because I thought if she has gotten to the point where she has like embraced herself um, her former self and she's gotten past her Borg experience that's really a good thing and no one should be saying that's a bad thing I don't understand it's not anything against being trans so because um, I always thought it was her transitioning from Borg back to human and some people seem to think that her identifying as human is like going back to um, the, the past um, gender or whatever. I, I, I don't see it that way. So um, there's some of that. And any, anyway, the average issue is it's, it's not her choice. She's being made to do it. So it's something that's being done to her. So it is like dead naming because she wants to be this person because she doesn't want to go back to... She can't go back to being Annika because Annika's gone, but she's not the drone. She's seven. That's who she identifies as, and this person isn't allowing her to identify. So, oh, okay, I just get it. That's what they're doing. <laughs> okay, so they're setting up... A, yeah, so, okay, I get what they're doing. I get what they're doing. I just got it. Don't laugh at me. Um, but, yeah, I'm wondering if this is going to be just an issue with that captain, or is it more of a Starfleet-wide issue with her because of what she did as a ranger or because of her ex-Borg, because he also discriminates against Picard as an ex-Borg member, and he's disrespectful to him. So is this just this guy's issue, or is this a Starfleet-wide issue that we're going to see come up, um, like with the Simps? Because Starfleet is not a bigoted, prejudiced, prejudiced society or group, so the idea that they have all these issues with Romulan immigrants and synthetic organisms and um, you know genetically engineered people and ex borg people, like, we are better than this, we are not this, this is not what we are in the future and not what Starfleet is. So they keep making Starfleet the bad guy? That doesn't work in Star Trek because Star Trek is a better future and if a better future is not being able to trust the government just like today, then we haven't gone anywhere and there's nothing to look forward to. We, all, it's, it's like they're dragging our problems into the future by having the government, the institution, the whole always be behind and discriminating against the individual minorities. So I don't like that. Is that what they're saying here? If it is a, situa a whole you know, Starfleet-wide issue, then it's going to be as bad as what they did in Picard Season 1 and Picard Season 2 and Discovery with the Synths and the Romulans and everything. So, but I'm just going to be optimistic and think it's just this captain because everyone else on the ship was looking at him with side-eye when he was disrespecting her. Um, so apparently it's his issue. It's not like they're all sitting there like looking at her like, yeah, you're the outsider. It wasn't like that. So I'm hoping that's not what it is. But, um... Yeah, I sort of answered my own questions. How can Seven be back? Well, everything she did was outside of the purview, so they can't hold it against her, so that's how they got past it, and Jane Way and Picard pushed her through. 
Now, can she get past the personal stigma? People know stuff she's done as Raiders. Some people may even admire for it. Some people may judge her for it. She's got her own history now. So, is that an issue? Is the Borg thing an issue? I don't know. So, it's interesting. I just want to talk about it for a minute, see what other people think. Um, I would like to see some redemption. I'd like to see some I did things. Because she does talk about how hard it is to get back into playing by the rules. But she doesn't acknowledge that she did things outside of the rules that she shouldn't have done. That's why there are rules. Because you can't just go out and, you know, get personal vengeance against people and kill people because of something that was done to you or someone you love. That's not right. That's not Starfleet. So I would like those things to be addressed. And we've got nine more episodes, so let's hope. But I'm going to go. I'm just going to leave Seven where she is. And we'll see where she ends up at the end of the season, at the end of the series. I wouldn't mind a Titan series with her in it if she's redeemed. She's not redeemed to me yet.